pulls the trigger and I'm just blown away downright My mind's indifferent to know what's wrong or right Her bite is bittersweet cause I'm stuck between her lines She silenced me with words that shouldn't be combined Hey guys, welcome back. I had mentioned in several of my past videos how much I want to organize all of my Cricut stuff. This is just not working for me. I want to get it moved upstairs and all of it just organized, honestly. I am super appreciative to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I can't wait to make some fun crafts today. We're going to make some Christmas gifts for my kids' teachers and I'm so excited about it. But first, I need to get it all organized and I'm feeling super motivated to just get a ton of stuff done today. So I hope this is motivating for y'all too. Let's get started. I don't want to get too far into the video without saying how much I appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all know I say this every single time, but it just means the world to me that y'all continue to show up for me and it motivates me that much more to make these videos for y'all and hopefully provide y'all with a little bit of motivation too. And to my fellow friends here in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving week to y'all. I don't really think that's a thing, but I know that we're coming up on Thanksgiving and I know that 2020 has just been a year of challenges and I feel like a lot of not so fun times for some of us, but I know that if we reach down, we can find something to be thankful for. I know that just right off the bat, I'm so thankful for y'all. And I promise you, I'm not just saying that. I truly mean it. I am so thankful for each and every one of y'all. Okay, I just got some laundry traded over and I ran all this stuff upstairs. For now, I'm gonna set it all up right here until I get my office done, which is that room right there. It's not done yet, I know, shocker but at least I can have it out here for now and it'll be an easier area to work and kind of spread things out. Like two magnets we are drawn to each other You just know how to push all my buttons Moved out of town and I erased your number But still I find myself This is actually the desk that Mark had growing up. So it's been in his family for a long time and it will continue to be in our family for ever pretty much, but it has been moved around so many times in our house. It's been in Bo's room and then it's been in the office and now it's kind of in this landing area upstairs. It also has those lockers that go with it. And if y'all watch my channel a good bit, you know that they're in the boys room. So until I can find a different place for this, it'll probably just stay out here in the landing area. It used to be a brown color, but I actually spray painted this desk and the lockers black and it has held up so well. So I do not regret spray painting it for one second. I actually love the matte black look much better than just the wood that it used to be. And it wasn't like the pretty wood, it was kind of the wood from a really long time ago. Okay, I have this set up pretty much the best that it can be for right now. And I went to Hobby Lobby earlier and grabbed a few things because I kind of have 
an idea of what I want to do but I'm not totally sure so I did grab some extras on Pinterest I saw a really cute idea to do with little zipper bags it's almost like a pencil pouch I went ahead and grabbed several of these because they were only about a dollar I think with the 40% off and I also grabbed some this is like a pillow cover and I grabbed two of them too because I don't know what all I want to do but I just wanted to have enough just in case these were also 40% off so they were a really good deal and I got some of these too. I honestly, like I said, I just almost kind of overbought just in case and I can use these for a million other things too or even to decorate the tree. And I ran over to Walmart and I got these cups because I think I'm going to label them for at least a couple of the teachers. And then I saw these signs. So if you are ever wondering if you can save money with your Cricut, you totally can because these are already ready to go. Like, of course you could be super crafty and make them all yourself, but with the 50% off, these signs were $5 each. That one was five, this one was five, and those were $7 each. So once you put the vinyl on them, honestly, you have spent maybe eight or nine dollars for a sign like that, as opposed to 20 or 30 in a store. So it totally saves money. I'm just gonna figure out what I'm going to do with these. For now, I'm gonna get some cleaning done and get dinner going for my family. And then I'll come right back to this. Two years and you never said a word. said it all uh -huh. you know we don't want to fall in love again oh no just think about what we did it never worked no so it was clearly before bedtime and there was absolutely no point in me making Kate's bed. She had actually already made it for the day but she got back in it when she was reading earlier in the afternoon but I went to Walmart earlier and got those cups. So I decided to just grab these pillows too because she needed some fluffier pillows to go inside her shams on this Betty's bedding. And I wanted to go ahead and put those pillows in the shams to see how everything looked. And I went ahead and threw a couple extra pillows on there too. You'll see in just a second. And I don't do this every single night, but I love to do like a sweep of the upstairs. Just kind of go room to room and tidy up whatever I need to. My kids typically pick up their own messes, but if I'm up there and I'm in a cleaning mood and I see it, I will pick it up. But I love this time in the evening to just kind of run around, put all the laundry laundry up, pick anything up that needs to be put up and vacuum all of the carpet. Soldier, play my part, boy. I had to hold you down, hold it down. 
When the tidal waves come around, then wipe off what we build. Would you fight for love, or would you back down and let our hope drown? When the world is everything, no break us up for good. Would you hang around? We know we got right now. Now I'm just coming into Ava's room and doing the exact same thing, putting her laundry away. Her bed was already made and her room was mostly tidy and actually she was in the room the same time I was. So anything that was out on the floor, she went ahead and grabbed. And then I'm just vacuuming everything up. I think vacuuming is one of my absolute favorite things to do, especially since I've had this shark vacuum cleaner. It just works so well. I feel like I get asked about it at least once in each video. I bought it off the shark website. It's the shark apex uplight vacuum cleaner and it works phenomenally, especially on carpet and rugs. It's my absolute favorite. It picks up so much stuff. So kind of grosses me out, but it's also amazing. Ever since I put those pictures in those frames up on the wall, walking upstairs makes me so much happier. It just feels so much brighter, even when it's dark outside. I am so happy that I finally did it. And another thing that makes me really happy is the vacuum lines upstairs on this landing because they don't last for long. Honestly, as soon as my kids ran upstairs, they were messed up, but they are fun while they last. Working every day, I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away. This is the laundry situation right now. The dryer actually just stopped, so I'm gonna go ahead and trade that over but I took a bunch of trips and brought all of the laundry from downstairs upstairs. Of course, I'm super far behind on laundry anyway, but the fact that we only have one working washing machine and dryer kind of made it to where I needed to bring all this up here, although I'm always behind anyway, but I'm gonna try to keep this kind of going throughout the evening, at least maybe two more loads. We're about to put the kids in bed and then I'm gonna start my Cricut stuff. Running from a ghost town, 
where we never feel high to slow. We won't ever come down. We won't ever come down low. Feeling the sun on my face in a white. I knew this was probably the last thing I could sneak in and do before the kids were asleep, but the boys were literally hopping into bed, but I just wanted to put their clothes away and I do get asked a good bit where this dresser's from. It's from Ikea. Most of our dressers are from Ikea or they're just from our childhood growing up and the little organizers inside them are also from Ikea and especially with deep drawers like these, they help out so much and a couple of y'all too have asked me if I find this way of organizing the drawers to be beneficial and a hundred percent I do. I love it so much. It really doesn't take that much more time and it makes a world of difference with how it looks when you open the drawers. And I came downstairs to put a little bit of laundry away and I saw some paper towels that I just bought when I went to the store earlier. And before anybody screams and yells at me, we are not hoarding toilet paper or taking it from anybody else over the past 8 million months that we've been home every single time we do a grocery order or run to the store I grab toilet paper or paper towels I don't go and grab a ton and take it from everyone else so please don't come at me this is just kind of what we've collected over time and I do get it from my grandfather a little bit I know I've mentioned this before but he was such a prepper and he loved to store things I remember before Y2K he had all these gallons of water like he was prepared for just about anything so anytime it kind of seems like I'm stocking up I always think about him but no I did not steal it from other people we're going under there's nothing we can do the final hour before we let it go to rest it's such a heartbeat pounding in your chest in this store One of the main reasons why I wanted my Cricut was because I was constantly turning to Etsy and Pinterest and ordering stuff and thinking while I was ordering it, you know what, I could probably make that. And then I constantly doubted myself or just figured that it would be too hard because if I'm being 100% real with y'all, I shut down pretty easily. I get frustrated when things get way too hard or at least I feel like they're too hard. So if I can handle a cricket, I promise you anybody can. And I'm going to kind of explain even how I do some of the stuff that I do because I know it can feel overwhelming when you're first starting out with a cricket, but it's not bad at all. I promise you guys. And on top of that, every step of the way, your cricket basically tells you what to do. It has little messages for you to make sure that you put the glossy side down on certain types of vinyl 
or that you reverse the image if you're doing iron on. Stuff like that is so helpful because you can easily forget and you can mess up. Even the pros mess up and I'm far from a pro. I still consider myself to be a beginner actually and I'm learning new stuff every day. I learned new stuff the night that I made this. It's never too late to learn something new and there is something so fun and satisfying about knowing that you're making something for somebody or something for your home and it has your own personal touch to it. It feels really, really good. So I am working with the Cricut Maker here and it's the machine that I'm the most used to and it is very user friendly, which is extremely helpful. And what I wanted to start in on was an idea that I actually saw over on Pinterest. And if you are a crafter, I'm sure you're already over on Pinterest a ton, but it is really helpful even with these types of projects. And I saw these little bags that had a cute little saying on the front and then you fill the bags up with all kinds of stuff that the teachers might want. So I've already started collecting a few of the things and I'm going to be adding those in right before I give them. But you can put Sharpies and a gift card. You can put some candy, sanitizer, tissues, whatever types of things that you think teachers might enjoy you can put that inside this bag. And as y'all could see there, I always refer to the Cricut heat guide and you just kind of put in what materials you're working with and it tells you what temperature your heat press should be on. And since I had already cut out the letters and weeded them, they were ready to stick on. So I always just run the heat press over whatever I'm doing a few times to make sure you have all the wrinkles out, especially any moisture out and then you lay down your vinyl exactly where you want it and you set the heat press on top. Typically it's about 30 seconds and then you let it cool and you pull up the plastic on top. And a lot of times just to make sure that it sticks the right way, I flip over what I'm doing and I run the heat press on the back too because I just feel like it ensures that the vinyl is going to stick to whatever you are trying to put it on because you don't want it falling off, especially if it's a gift to somebody else. Now we're moving on to the thing I was the most excited about because I had never done anything like this before and I was a little bit nervous it wasn't going to turn out, but it did and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. But basically I wanted to make something for Max's classroom. He loves when he takes stuff into his teacher, whether it's a handwritten card or whatever. So this isn't necessarily her Christmas present, but I wanted it to just be part of the classroom decor for Christmas. And Max is so excited about it too. So this is just regular vinyl. It's different than the heat transfer vinyl. You don't have to reverse the image. And when you're done, you just pull up all the vinyl that you don't need, which is called weeding. And you get into the insides of all the letters too because you don't want those. And then it is time to do the transfer tape. So a trick that I've learned is you just start at the top and only peel back a little bit of the backing for the transfer tape so you don't get bubbles and stuff because if you have that or if the transfer tape accidentally falls down on top of your vinyl words, the letters will start coming up. It will mess everything up. So just do it slowly and then use this tool to help you out too. So this transfer tape is basically what helps you get your vinyl from where it is now to where you want it to be, which for me is this sign. And I did end up adjusting a couple of the periods. I don't know why, but a couple of them were kind of spaced out a little bit differently. But what you're going to do now is just lay it down on top. You want to make sure that it is perfectly straight because once it's on, it's kind of hard to change. And then you scrape it again with a tool and pull back the transfer tape and your vinyl stays on there. And I could not believe how well this turned out. I was so happy with it. 
And now the last little thing I want to do are these cups. So this is probably one of the easiest things you can do. These cups are $7 from Walmart and it takes about five seconds to type up a name and print it out and even weed it. And then you put a little piece of transfer tape on top and put it onto the cup and it's done. Literally, it takes about two minutes to have a really fun present. to be right keeping the low in the night yeah so long since i get a glimpse of a light it's blood bring out my eyes oh, oh, i wish you'd open up a window oh, oh, i can't see clear oh, oh, at least i know how to window to window cause it's just my habits I've shared a lot of the stuff that I've made with my Cricut over on Instagram too. And y'all are always so sweet and asking questions like how I did it. I want to do a couple tutorials over on Instagram too, just keep it really simple and not a tutorial because I think I'm an expert, but just because since I am so new to this, I know I can help those of you who are also new because I know how to approach it with y'all. But a lot of the questions that I get asked for each project is what fonts I'm using. So all of the fonts that I used for these things right here, I will make sure to put in my description box. So if y'all are looking them up, then you will have them for your stuff that you're making. And you guys, I'm telling you right now, a Cricut is probably the best gift that you could give yourself or even a family member or a friend. It is something that I've had so much fun with and I've even surprised myself with the things that I've made so far and it's really just brought me so much joy. I've told y'all this before, but if you are on the fence about getting one, First of all, you should treat yourself for Christmas because it would be a wonderful Christmas gift to yourself, but also you just deserve it and you will save money in the long run. So just tell yourself that much, but y'all know I'm very, very basic. So I have not even really scratched the surface of everything that the Cricut maker can do. It's basically like a printer, but way more amazing because it also cuts. I mean, seriously, it can cut cardstock, chipboard, you name it, and basically it can cut it. So I'm excited to learn even more about my Cricut as the weeks go on and everything that I learn, I will share with y'all too, because I know there are so many of y'all out there who are wanting to learn along with me. And that is so exciting to me because we can have fun together and craft together and learn. And if y'all have any tips or tricks, you can always share them with me or put them in the comment section so everybody else can kind of scroll through them and learn new stuff too. But if any of you guys are interested in a Cricut, I will have my exact Cricut linked in the description box along with everything that I used in today's video. And like I said, I will type out those fonts too to help any of y'all out. But thanks again to Cricut for partnering with me in today's video. It's a colorful night, got red eyes, but it's all blue. Those colorful eyes, they don't shine like they used to. The city don't want us, babe. We want to survive this place. The city don't want this. The city don't want this. And if I would lie and stay, it wouldn't feel the same. I won't lie. I, no, honestly, it doesn't feel like home. Like home.
I figured it was just about time to pack these away. I know I had said this a couple of videos ago, but Max had kind of exploded a blue marker everywhere and I thought I had cleaned most of it up, but as I was putting these pumpkins away, I noticed that several of them still needed to be wiped down and I need to find a way to wash this runner where it doesn't get ruined. I don't know if that's even possible. But I am actually hosting Thanksgiving this year, which is something that I've never done before. But since we're not doing Mark's extended family Thanksgiving, we've kind of shifted around the days that we're celebrating with just our families like Mark's parents and my parents. So I am hosting now and I'm excited about it. And it would kind of make sense. There's all of the blue marker. It would kind of make sense for me to keep up the fall stuff, but my family's already been over and they've seen most of my fall decor and I might actually just leave this table mostly empty because when we have everybody over, it's kind of nice to just have plenty of space to spread out, put your food there, maybe even put some of the dishes in the middle of the table so everybody can just easily reach things. I don't know. I might just keep it simple for a little while until it's time to decorate for Christmas. As I was filming this, actually, my nephew and niece were on the way. My sister is going out of town for the weekend and I get to watch her kids, which I was so excited about and my kids were really excited too. And so I was just trying to straighten up a little bit. I mean, not really for kids because they don't ever see messes, but just to kind of make me feel better because I knew we were going to have six kids in the house for the whole weekend. So I tried to just at least get the main area straightened up and this half bathroom right here, which gets tons and tons of traffic.
What are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving this year? Are y'all just kind of laying low or just seeing local family? We don't have any crazy plans other than having our family over on Thursday. I'm sure we'll see a lot of our neighborhood friends throughout the week too, but I'm mostly just so excited about having my kids home from school for a week and just kind of doing some resting and relaxing and catching up on family time that I feel like we've missed out on the past few weeks have just been really, really crazy. So I'm looking forward to hopefully a little bit of downtime and just some good quality time together. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'm still reading through all of your comments in my last video because y'all were so sweet about all the pantry organization. I am slowly working through responding to each of those comments. I am just so undeserving of y'all, but so thankful at the same time. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week and I will see y'all next week. It be worth the time.